Hey guys, now I'm playing some more Prison Architect, and you join me in the aftermath of that fight that broke out. People were pretty mad that there was water leaking everywhere, so we're going to get that fixed, hopefully soon. Um, a lot of people got to go in solitary. Uh, incident report. 3 in solitary plus 15 waiting. 15 in lockdown. 14 require medical attention. 2 dead bodies. And someone also told me I didn't have a storage room, which I totally forgot about. Um, I don't know, for now I'm just going to put it fucking... I don't know. I'll put it in here when that's built. Oh, it's getting super dangerous. It's cool. We'll fix it. We'll, uh... We'll... We'll... We need a bigger... We need a bigger infirmary. People are really hurt. That's real bad. Let's... Let's put in some more beds. Yeah, I've really got to build an actual infirmary rather than just using a holding cell for this. Um... Yeah, the people are getting pretty angry at my prison. Anyway, today, what are we doing? What are we doing other than worrying about this fight? I th well, we're going to finish this room, and then we're going to put a bunch of stuff in there. So I think that's most of what will happen, actually. Um, ah, damn, it's all fence walls. Damn it. Okay, could you go, guys, if we fix the pipe? Okay, it's getting less dangerous now. Okay. People were just a little tense, and just started beating the shit out of each other and the guards. Which is, you know, problematic. How many doctors do we have? I'm thinking we're going to need another one, given the state of our prison. Yeah, you should really fix that guy up. Okay, that's good. We don't want people dying. We've already had like two. I'm hoping they're in the garbage by now. You know, I'm a, I'm a bad person. <laughs> um, okay, we've got to start planning this then. Start putting some power in. Start, just start doing stuff. Like that. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to throw a storage thing in here just for now, because I realize I do really need one. Um, then at some point I'll build a room. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So, what rooms do we need? Let, let's see. What contracts do we have? Visitation rights. We really need somewhere people can visit. Um, that could be good just like up here, because you walk right in. Super easy. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could be here. That could work, because it's right like... We don't want prisoners that close to the exit, though, do we? Yeah. Yeah. I think for now it'll just go somewhere in here. Um, or maybe here. Hmm. I don't know. Whew. Well, we should probably start planning. Right, so, visitation rights. We've got to raise our prison thingy. Prison maintenance. Hire a gardener. Okay. Garden. And we got some money. Alright. Um, so, what room can I build? I, I know I want a classroom somewhere. Have I unlocked education? Yeah, yeah. What else should I be unlocking? Intelligence. Indeed. Um, should probably get taser roll out pretty soon. Yeah, I think we're good for now, though. Um, so let's start. Let's start thinking about this. Um, I I rarely build prisons like this, so I have this big room I don't know what to do with. So, yeah. Well, firstly, this is going to be like a little hallway. It's easy to walk along, so people can get in and out and stuff. Um, I think that's important. All that. Uh, and then, and then we're gonna want another hallway, maybe up here, so that people can, again, easily get around. Maybe. Yeah, if I do this, right, do this, and probably here because I have a door there, annoyingly. Then we have these rooms, with which we can do something. Oh shit, guards under attack. Oh hell. Oh, it's getting out of hand. Oh, there is only one of him and that guy has scissors. Okay, three guys got him. There's four. Okay, beat the shit out of him. Take him down. I wish I had an armed guard so I could yell weapons free. Alright, guys. Three deaths! What the f- Oh, just one more guy died. It's because two other guys have already died today. Wow, well, shit's getting out of hand, man. People are really getting really murdery in my prison and I do not appreciate it. Um... Okay, so, rooms. I want a classroom, obviously. Let's take, see if we can get a contract, a grant for this. Uh, crack down on drugs. Reform, yeah, reform through education initiative. You unlock education, done it, build a classroom, build 20 school desks, have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education. So it's quite a long-term one, because it's hard to get them through foundation and general education. But we're going to get that, because there's a lot of money, and I want to be, I uh, want people working. Working hard. Working hard or hardly working. So I think this might be classrooms. Oh no, I need an infirmary. Fuck! This is hard. This is this is hard to decide what goes where. Um, 
Crow. We need an infirmary. Which doesn't need to be that big. I mean, it should fit at least four, probably six beds, which is they're four by two, they're two by two. So we imagine that this is how it's working. Yeah. Well, we want a little more space than that. So like that. And then we throw in. Yeah, that could be the infirmary. Um, well, actually, it could be smaller than that. It could be like that. Yeah, just a little infirmary for now, because um, six beds should be fine, um, and that should be big enough. Yeah. Huh. Then, okay. Then, if we're having visitation up here, that could just be that, so we can have quite a lot of visitation. And this could be classrooms. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, for now. Is there a limit on classroom size? Does it need to be a specific size? I could probably get 20 desks in that space. Um, classroom, classroom, classroom. Yeah, okay, cool, let's build that. I'm, I'm, yeah, this is interesting. Because I just, this is absolutely not how I would usually build a prison. I usually build lots of different buildings, but this is interesting. There's a lot of planning going to be in the, this series, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, people not kicking the shit out of each other. Um, six and solitary plus eight waiting. We've got to build the rest of these solitary cells. Um, where is this solitary? Why can I never find these things? I've played this game so much, and I'll, there we go. Yeah, we'll have 12 solitary cells. Oh, fuck. Nope. That goes there. Y'all in solitary. At some point, I'll put toilets in there, but not for now, because, you know, all maximum security. Now the problem, man. Okay. Open. Can I not? Oh, yeah, I'm clicking on the light. Go in there and clean. He's called America? Dave America. After a life of playing video games and starting to develop one himself, he lost. He got lost between virtual reality and, well, actual reality. The judge said he wasn't accountable for his actions, but being a fan of the detective shows, Dave incited a, insisted on jail time. Interesting. Um, sentenced to 51 years for multiple crimes, including murder, aggraved vehicle, aggravated vehicle assault, and armed robbery. Jesus Christ, this guy's intense. Don't play virtual reality, kids. You will murder people. Nah. I've got to try virtual reality at some point. I still haven't tried it. I feel like I should, you know? Because, you know, I'm like in the gaming space. I'm like gaming media. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but, you know. Um, and then this is, what did I say this was going to be? Visitation rights. They'll, so people will just like walk in. They'll be like, oh, hey. And we'll be like, oh, hey. And then we're going to have a couple classrooms with like that. So, yeah. Nice. It's gonna be great. People are gonna get learning, and you also need classrooms to roll out like tasers for guards and stuff, um, which is fairly important because yeah, you got to teach them how to use them and stuff. So yeah, right. Okay. Oh, we've got intelligence now. We've got any gangs? I want to know if we've got gangs. Wow, we've got gangs. Jesus. Oh god, that's fairly Reiki. Yes. Oh god, that's yeah, that's a little Nazi. That one's just fairly tribal. That's okay. Um, oh, we got a pretty, pretty cheap weapons. We should have a shakedown right now. Let's find some stuff. Dangers. Yeah, see, I've isolated most of my dangers to here. But obviously, as we build workshops, it's going to get harder. Have I got prison labor? Logistics. Prison labor. Oh, I could be getting people to work in here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any qualified prisoners, though. Um, that's another thing you can do in the classrooms. You can get the chefs to teach people how to do stuff. Um, actually, I should probably be... I don't think I even need a classroom for that. I should be starting to work on education. So, yeah, that'll be this episode. Education. <laughs> um, wow, we're finding a lot of... People got drugs, knives. How do they get knives? We're not even in the kitchen. Man, that guy's got a phone. What a dick. Um, utility. What do I need for? More phones. I need more capacitors. Scissors. Yeah, seems to be the weapon of choice in my prison. How is he in solitary and he still has scissors? How do you not take them off him? You're the worst guard ever. Huh. Oh. Alright, let's just run some electrical cable through this wall. Hopefully that'll supply everything. More scissors? Jesus Christ. This is rough. This is rough. Anyway, let's get on some programs. 
Um, oh, I've already started doing some of them. So workshop safety induction, can't really do that. Kitchen um, safety and hygiene, led by a cook in a kitchen, two hours. Okay, that'll help people because then I won't have to pay for so many people working. General education qualification. Parole hearing, I should definitely work on that. Spiritual guidance, that should be a uh, foundation. Yeah, nothing I can, uh, else I can, uh, I can do right now. I don't have the classrooms for it, but we will. Okay, get a shakedown underway. Got a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna get, you know, real fucked up. Um, no, they're, no, they're not gonna get fucked up. We're just gonna take their stuff. We're gonna be like, okay, it's okay. Just don't do it again. Why do you have a hammer? God, dude, fuck. What is wrong with you? Uh, um. Oh, what was that? You know, that was like, I think it was building. It sounded vaguely like a taser, but we don't have tasers yet. Uh, I want an infirmary. Like that. That'll be an infirmary. Um, I'm gonna dismantle this. Uh, so that I can put them back in the place. Uh, put her back in the new infirmary. Yeah, we'll buy a couple, but I'm gonna wait for them to be dismantled because I'm not sure if I click now it'll pay for how I have to pay for them. And then this will be visitation, which is there. Um, oh, we also need laundry. Shit, I didn't think about that. We need laundry like right now. Ha! Oh, oh. We'll just put it somewhere in here. People's clothes are gonna be getting real dirty. Oh, should have thought of that, right? Hmm. Is there a better place to put it? Not really. Well, I got this big ass room, and I'm gonna. It's mostly gonna be um, prison labor working in the laundry, so it's cool. Okay, search is over. Right, so I'm thinking. Oh, we need to plan this a little. I'll. I need a laundry kind of nowish, so we should probably get on that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's not get flustered. Let's focus on what we're doing. Put some visitor tables in here, so people can, you know, have some visits. Um, and then we need some classrooms, so that people can go learn, become better people, learn how to not need crime. That's the best way to stop crime, you know? Education. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you know, I mean, just very quick. Yeah, or, I mean, obviously the other option is, um... What's it called? That Tom Cruise film that's kind of terrible. Where he, like, predicts crimes before they happen. What is that? It's, oh, damn it, what's that film called? You know where he's, like, a cop who, like, predicts crimes and then they convict people or stop people or something like that? Where he has that dumb computer and the plants try to kill him or something? I don't know. Something like that. Um, okay. So what am I having in here? I want a workshop gonna be a main thing, so I'm gonna divide it in two again. Um, then I need a laundry, and I need a cleaning cupboard, so that could be here. How big is it? I'd like the laundry to be bigger. Yeah, I think they need to be five by five laundries and cleaning cupboards. Um, and the bigger they are, the more people can work in it. Oh no, there's no rules for them. Okay, well I'm gonna make them a little bigger so I can get more people working. Like that. And then, yeah. That'll be good. And then we'll do something with this. I think maybe this will be a church. I don't know. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Uh, but these are fairly essential. Cleaning, cupboard, and laundry. Means we can put people to work cleaning. And means people aren't going to be in their dirty clothes for ages. Really should have thought of that. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you forget to give people basic human rights. <sighs> okay. Alright, sleep time. Ah, oh, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I should probably make this bigger, right? Hire some more cooks. You, cook. Um, I'm gonna put in a couple more cookies. And a couple more sink. Actually, maybe just one more sink and then fridges. Because it doesn't look like we have a ton of place to store stuff. Because um, a lot of it's on the floor currently. There we go. That's very expensive, but it's fine. I got money. Uh, probably. Okay, y'all go shower. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to need more shower heads as well. At some point we need to expand, uh, fill up this with cells. Um, cells and dorms. Okay, and I'm going to put the rest of the uh, medical beds in here now. Cause 
I've already bought them. They've been dismantled and all is good. Okay, cool. Prisoners, uh, prisoners come together quite nicely. Ah, yeah, I should probably put in some like nice ground, right? There should be some grass in here. People should be able to sit on the grass. Yeah, this this half will be like a field. Oh, uh, actually, kind of like the idea of this bit being paved because it's a the gym bit. Well, okay, well I'm gonna make this grass anyway, and then I might move the gym bit up here on some paved ground. Is grass free? No, it is not. And then this could be. Oh, that's really cheap though. Is there any cheap? I think it'd be gravel. Stop people running too quick. Yeah, I should also definitely put in some um, concrete floors. Oh, people are coming to visit. Cool. Build a common room, build a pool table. Fuck you. Oh yeah, I need to put a common room in. That's Maybe that's what it'll be, this'll be. There'll be a common room, church, and then someone else. Maybe a workshop. Yeah. Alright, we got a lot, of, a lot of stuff being built. Um, school desk. Yeah, we want to start putting these in. How many do I need? 20, was it? I like putting them one apart. I like some realism. Like, I'm not very efficient with this kind of stuff because I like a little bit of realism. Yeah, okay. Although this is going to look like shit because I'm just going to put a desk right in front of these so I can get more. Actually, hmm, how many is that? Oh, that's 12. I only need 20, so I might as well just do it like this then. Yeah, cool. I need 20 for the grant to complete for me to get... Oh, well, the grant will complete, but I'll, it'll complete one of the parts of the grant. And then we'll put it in an office desk. Cool. People can go learn stuff. And then they can go eat. I should definitely put in more tables at some point. I think it's fine for now, because I'm not taking out any prisoners for a while. So we're good. Um, how many workers do I have? Ten. I could probably use more, because... I'm building a lot of stuff right now. I might hire a couple more, just to speed things along. I also think we need some concrete up here so that people can walk faster. I'm not going to have this just locked open. This seems to be slowing down a lot of my workers. It shouldn't take down security too much. I mean, yeah, this is a superfluous gate, really. I mean, we've got this. It's fine. How much is land? 20 Gs. 20, 20 G. Cool 20 Gs. Um, yeah. I could get some more land at some point, but we haven't even filled up this. I'm, I'm thinking about too many things currently. Um, paving stone. Gravel. Yeah, well, we want paving stone so that we can quickly walk. How much would it cost to just pave this? This whole thing. Well, we actually only need to pave down to here. Bad ground. That's fine. Oh, shit. I don't want to pave that much. Oh, fuck you. We'll just pave the whole thing. It's actually less. I accidentally did three just then. That'll look nice. People in the shower. Oh, it's free time. Well, not anymore. Now we have work to do. Programs. I might as well start up the... Um, there's just a bunch of them. Um, programs, programs, programs. Oh, I'm, I was on programs. <laughs> uh, Carpentry apprenticeships. Can't do that yet. Foundation education. Six interested. Going to get a teacher in. Don't have to hire a teacher, they just come in. Apparently in the new version of Prison Architect, um, your staff have needs. Like they need to eat and stuff, apparently. I've never seen that in Prison Architect, so. But apparently that is a thing. Oh, this doesn't need to be a jail door. No, 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 no. This can just be a normal door. We want people to be able to go between fairly easily. Put in two doors to stop bottlenecks. Um, yeah. This also doesn't really, really need to be a jail door, but it would make it easier to lock down, which is important. Anyway, general education. Might as well start it. Pharmacological, led by a doctor in infirmary. Okay, let's treat some drug addiction, man. I thought we were already doing that. Oh, I got rid of the. Uh, I got rid of the infirmary though. Alcoholic group therapy. I need a common room. Okay, I need common rooms, workshops, all that stuff. I think I'm probably going to build that next time, though, because we've got a lot more stuff to build. Uh, like a laundry, so people aren't in their, you know, awful clothes. Um, utilities. Have some water. Perfect. Alright. What are people's needs currently? Clothing. Yeah. I'm working on it. 
Let's start putting in some, um, uh, let's, yeah, put it in a cleaning cupboard and laundry. The, uh, the, I think the cleaners also do laundry, but you can, um, get your prisoners to do it, so you might as well. You know, give them something to do. Let's put in three for now, I'm going to fill that up with five. We'll put in some ironing boards, kind of like that sort of thing. And then... Uh, like that. Okay, that might work. It looks a bit cramped, really. Um, yeah, actually, would it be better if it was like we had them down there like that? Yeah, I think that would look better. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Um, like so. That one might be blocked. I'm not sure because um, it's like against a wall. If it is, I'll just move it. Then a bunch of cuts. All right, cool. Um, then prison labor. We want loads of people working here. Loads of people working in here. Yeah, y'all be working now. Um, you a working man? Oh look, they're getting group therapy. That's good. Oh look, we got a guy learning. He's oh a reform program. Oh yeah, yeah. He's concentration terrible. Understanding good. So he's smart, but he can't pay attention. He's like me. Um. I'm, I'm pretty smart. I just I just drift off like you know when you see in a TV show and there's like someone who's like watching like in a class and then someone asks them a question and they have literally no idea what um, is going on. It's like me. I I do that a lot in lectures. Well, only some like especially boring lectures. It's like oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention for half an hour. I literally have no recollection of what you were saying. It's actually quite interesting. All right, cool. That's looking nicer. I'm also gonna put in some paving stone or gravel. Do I want the prisoners to move fast or slow? Um, I kinda wanna slow them down, but, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, utility, oh fuck, I'm on the wrong thing, okay. Yeah, I think we put down paving stone. Yeah, that looked good. Whole road. You should have some road going through here. Oh fuck, that's four grand. It's cool. Small price to pay for something looking nice. Actually, no, oh fuck, that was four grand. Can I complete any of these grants? Yeah, I need to make 50 more prison cells. Oh, oh it's gonna be rough. Well, if I take in more prisoners, you know, it'll be fine. What I really need is to start making my prisoners make me some more license plates so I can use them. Uh huh. All right. Well, we got people doing shit. It's good. It's good shit. We need armed guards at some point, but I'm a little, uh, little low on funds. It's kind of built. It's kind of spent five grand on a floor I don't need. Um, yeah, I'm a very frivolous. Very, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty frivolous with this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everyone seems happy though. No fight this time. Well, except that one guy who got murdered. But that was early on. That's old news. People get murdered all the time. I need a morgue. <laughs> yeah, I need a morgue somewhere. I might put it out here, away from the prison. Nah, we'll just throw them in the trash. We don't need a morgue right now. Um, yeah, we'll just throw the bodies in the trash. God, I, yeah, I should not run a prison. This is not a Norwegian prison. Oh shit, now we got three gangs. It's not really a gang if it's just you. You're just a dick with a tattoo on your face. Um, whoa, that's like Angel of Death level shit right there. So we got Angel of Death, the Nazis. That's weird. Because, like, you expect Nazis in prisons to be, like, white supremacists. But this guy's not. Interesting. Well, I, I don't know. Could be just, like, yeah, I really like white people. You never know. <laughs> See that Nazi? Well, not Nazi, but that white supremacist guy got punched in the face. That was That was big news. Yeah. Brought up a big interesting question of is it okay to punch people if they're Nazis? Hard to say. Not a big advocate of violence, but I'm really not a big advocate of Nazis. Um, Nazis are kind of dicks, man. I mean, uh, although I think really you gotta be careful with words like Nazi. Not because you might offend someone, because who gives a fuck um, if you offend Nazis. But like, something I kind of I heard talked about a lot is 
A lot of the campaign trail, people are like, oh, Trump's a fascist. And it's like, well, maybe, but probably not. And you got to be careful, because if everyone has it in their head that Trump was a fascist, and then it turns out he was just fine, everyone's like, oh, well, fascism, that, 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 that's fascism? Okay, cool. And then that word doesn't mean anything, so we can't, like, stop fascists next time when there actually is one. So my point is, be careful with words. And uh, none of that was political commentary on either side. Just saying. you gotta be, got to be careful. Um with words, because the English language has got to mean something, right? This is it. this isn't working because it can't be read because there's a wall there. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's really hard to just insult someone with one word now. Like if you call someone an asshole, it's like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever, man. That word doesn't mean anything. You have to like go on a long tangent. Like you got to insult their life. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's getting harder to say what you mean. I blame the internet for people just you know and. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm talking about language for some reason. Language, not politics. Remember that while you're writing your angry comment about Donald Trump. Um, no, what? Do you need hot water? Oh, I didn't give him any water. Right. Um, and now you get water. Now you're gonna... Yeah, cool. Cooler, cooler, cool. Go to sleep, y'all. Okay, so, I'm thinking this is going to be the end of the episode, but next time, um, we are going to be a little less flustered. I felt quite flustered today. I don't know, sometimes that happens. You know, you sit down, you, you start building something, and you're all over the place. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. There's fights, and there's building. Anyway, next time, we are going to build, I think, a church here. Maybe we'll split up and have a church in a common room, because I also need a workshop over here. But I'm really liking this building. I think this is good. We got cells. We got a big block of things. It's all very locked down. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. We might extend the canteen probably way later. I mean, we don't need that right now. Yeah. But anyway, that'll all be next. We'll probably get some armed guards and shit. You know, yell weapons free, weapons free, and then you just shoot everyone. <laughs> I'm a bad person. But anyway. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been episode four of Prison Architect. I'll see you next time.